Hey, Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and I just got in the mail this box from scrapbook.com and it's my order from them. They didn't send it to me, it wasn't a gift, um, but it was something that I really thought would be cool for Bible journaling, so I thought I'd just share the unboxing with you. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. There we go. Yeah. Now, scrapbook.com is in my hometown, so I could go and pick it up. But I just thought, you know, I would pay for shipping. Because <laughs> who has the time to go across town? And it costs money for gas. So I just pay for shipping when it comes. So here's what I got. I got some re-inkers. Oh, I love re-inkers. And I actually can't get these. And I live in Phoenix. So it's, I'm surprised that I can't get them in the, at the, the craft store. But I got the Ranger Archival Ink because you always need one of those. And then the stays on um, solvent ink refill. So I'm excited that I was able to get those. I think I picked those up. Um, let's see if they gave me my, my receipt here. Oh, let's see. Uh, they didn't say how much they were, but I think they were like three fifty dollars each. Um, but you can definitely, I mean, I'd rather pay $3.50 to re-ink my pads and go out and spend, you know, $7 for another one. Now, this is really what interests me. Kay, um, in our Bible Journey for Beginners community, posted this deal, and I just thought, well, let me check this out. It's called The Station by Ranger, and it's a, a Wendy, I think her name is um, Vecchi, Vecchi. It's an all-in-one sur magnetic surface for stenciling, aligning, embossing, and creating. And I saw this online and I thought, well, maybe it would be cool for Bible journaling. That's kind of what I was thinking when I bought it. So maybe it will be cool, maybe it won't be cool, but let's check it out. So it's basically a magnetic platform. And it has some like huge magnets, which is cool. Don't lose those. And a magnetic ruler. Okay, so it's a big magnet. And it's pretty. So the idea with this is like you would put like your card down and you could like put your mat your ruler down and you could you know, put the magnets down so you knew exactly what you were doing. So that, or, or if you had a stencil to put on top of it, you could put a stencil. Maybe put the stencil down with the magnets, and then you could stencil, and you're, and nothing would move, which is amazing. Because, for me, holding down a stencil is, I'm not good at it. Like it, the the stencil just goes everywhere, and it's a hot mess. But you know, I don't care because it's fun, so I play with it. But what I was thinking it would be cool for is Bible journaling as kind of a mat. So let's just check it out and see if it will work. Because sometimes when I'm Bible journaling, um, I I have a Bible mat, which I love. See, I have like a ton of them. I just have them all nearby, little plastic things. I just put them behind um, and then I can do all my work. But, you know, sometimes I'm holding everything down like I'm holding the papers down and then I'm doing my Bible journaling but I thought well this this one has magnets so maybe it will work because this is going to be bigger than my Bible I would probably need another Bible of the same size next to it so that I can rest this magnetic plate on it so my idea was I would just take it and I could put it underneath my Bible as a Bible mat like so and then I could take my magnets like this and hold that page down. And I can even, oh, it's gonna work. I can even like make sure I can draw straight lines. So let me just do a couple straight lines so you can see. Maybe I'll just come in here and just draw, well, I would probably want to get the grid right because uh, I move the page, move the page a little bit. Be best if I had the grid lined up on the paper. You see my grid's off. So I'm just gonna come in here and line up this grid. Yeah, much better. And then magnets, so it doesn't move. Oh, this is cool. I am like excited about this. And then I could put my ruler down. Let's just say I put it right here. And let's see if I can get me a straight line. Oh, yay. Oh, I love this because I am not good at holding a ruler down <laughs> ever. 
and by just putting this ruler down, and I'm actually just tracing right now the grid that's already on this um, this Bible. This is a journal, the Word large print Bible, I think NIV version. Uh, but I'm just, it comes with lines, and I'm just trying to see if I can actually get some straight lines with this thing, which is, which it looks like I am doing a good job of that. Um, and if I didn't have these lines to go by, obviously, then I could use these lines here, Wendy's lines. So I just make my my ruler straight, and then I could just draw a straight line there. So, wow, this is really cool, and I think that it will be great for Bible journaling. You can even take your ruler here, and let's say you're working with a medium like watercolor, or, um, gosh, what could we work with here? I'm trying to see if I have anything nearby. Let me grab something so we can just play with it together. This is so cool. Uh, let's see. I have some acrylic paints we could use. I usually don't like to just randomly mark in my Bible without, without reading the verse, but just for this test, I will do that. I do have a Bible that I use that, um, obviously I'm not prepared. This is an unboxing, it's not a testing video, but apparently it turned into a testing video because this is really cool and I didn't think it was going to be this cool and I wasn't sure it was going to work. Um, but this is just my illustrated uh, watercolor palette. And I'm just going to come in here, well, let me get a little more water so I can make it a little more soppy. And that water is actually a little dirty. And I can just come in here with my watercolors. And let me just put some water. And, and, and it's okay that I'm just doing this right now for this video because I'm not going to do any writing or anything. So this is just really testing. And I'm just trying to see if I can, if this watercolor is going to actually seep through and the other side. I'm just randomly selecting water colors. And very cool. This is actually going to look really pretty afterwards. <laughs> I love doing um, backgrounds because um, they're super easy. But you can see that my 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 um, my Bible page is not moving, and I'm really just kind of moving my paint around a lot. So the only problem is, is when I get to the edge, and then I have to like move it. Maybe I'll just stick that there, and then come in. This is going to be awesome. Don't forget that I did have to put my Bible, my second Bible here, to otherwise it doesn't really hold it very well. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll take it away in just a minute so you can see. Uh, let me move that right here. I'm so glad that I bought this. This is really cool. This is going to be so fun. So thanks, Kay, for sharing this. I know um, this was all, you know, all you in terms of posting the deal or posting that, it, actually I think it was $15 or something, much cheaper than it was on Amazon. Apparently it goes out of stock, so um, people like it, which, you know, for me and my use, which is Bible journaling, I like it. So let's see, does it seep through? Uh, just a little bit, not too bad, but, you know, still better than my normal job. <laughs> you know, hardly ever get a straight line with watercolor, ever, so... This is cool. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm going to stick a normal Bible mat down real quick. But first I want to show you, um, if I don't, if I remove this Bible from here, um, it, I guess it works. It'll, I guess it'll stay, but it does kind of pull on the page a little bit more. So either put one there or don't. I think you should put one there. That's my recommendation, but it's entirely up to you. So all in all, I am so glad that I made that purchase because I think it's going to be a great Bible mat. I think it will work really well in the illustrating Bible as well, the bigger Bible. Um, it, I think it will work really well in that. I can go ahead and grab it real quick for you uh, just so you can see it. Let me grab my illustrating Bible real quickly. And the illustrating Bible is a much bigger Bible than the one I was showing you. So if you have the illustrating Bible, then this may work for you as well. So I'm just going to grab one. I'll put it here, just like this. Let me make sure that's dry. I don't really want that to be on my page. Oh, actually, it works way better in the Illustrating Bible, guys. I mean, oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
So now we have a magnetic surface. We can be doing all of our Bible journaling here. We can you know, write straight lines on this. We could just kind of put it in on the grid and make sure it's lined up correctly so we have straight lines. I'm just in love with this and I'm so glad I bought it. So yeah, it's gonna work perfect in any of those, but in a regular Bible and the illustrating Bible. This is great. So does it clean up pretty easy? I hope so. It's just watercolor, so it should just come right off anything that I have on the surface. So let me just grab this little paper towel. <laughs> so I hope that you like this little quick impromptu unboxing kind of, I don't know, show and tell. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them for you. But this is really just a fabulous little magnetic platform. You know, and also, you know, if you just wanted to use it for, you know, something else, you could put the magnets on top and it's like a little bit of a platform there for you. So maybe, I'm sure there are like a ton of uses for this, but I didn't even know it existed until Kay posted it on our Bible Drilling for Beginners community. So when she posted it, I shared it and I was like, hey, let's just see if it works and it works just fine. If this video was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.